Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought today that we could take a look at these UB size USB powered adjustable video lights. Um, I bought these when I first moved here in October, and I used them for a little bit. They're okay, they're not fantastic. Um, they come with a diffuser here, you can see the slot for it. And a bunch of different colored uh, gels you can put over the front. A set of these, two of them, were $35 on Amazon. And you get the light. And you do get some really nice tripods with these. These are actually pretty good. They extend up to a height of about four feet. Just over a meter. So I thought we'd uh, see if we can't get inside this thing and have a look at what's going on. What do you say? Sound like fun? All right. Let's do it. Get my uh, spudger here and see if we can't just spudge our way in. Oh yeah, something good about the spudger. That's satisfying. There we go. So, now we can take a better look at this. Let's uh, get a screwdriver and we'll remove it from the case. All right, while I'm taking this apart, using my, come on, E-Durable Precise Electronic Screwdriver, I want to start off by apologizing to you guys. Since last September, when my mother died, I have been very distracted. Add into that trying to get Blake ready to go off for college and I just have to apologize to you guys I've received a few comments and uh, more importantly well, comments are very important because without you guys I wouldn't be here but more important to me financially is that I have watched my YouTube revenue drop by almost $300 per month and that I mean, that's my electric bill right there so I'm going to try and do better, so bear with me, guys. All right, so this is a USB or jobber here, and it has a little adjustable power thing. So I figured we can plug it in to a USB power bank, run the uh, USB doctor on it, see what kind of power it's pulling. We'll also put a meter across these contacts. So we can see what's going on here. I doubt this is actually changing the voltage. Maybe it's PWMing it. We're going to find out. Stick around. All right, let's begin our examination of this. First of all, it is an aluminum PCB that is not flexible. The reason for that is these LEDs are going to get hot, so we got to cool them. There are 60 LEDs, 10 by 6, and down here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which means one for each column resistors. So they're probably done in six columns of 10, right? Right. So here is ambient temperature. 75.7 let's plug it in to the power bank get it going here <laughs> of course that's going to be upside down So there is our. Turn this on. Ah, 
Did it go off? Yeah, it wasn't, pull, wasn't pulling enough. Okay, let's turn this thing on. All right, so we're on. And we are pulling 1.28 amps. And that is maximum power. So let's take it down. Okay, so we are now at 0 0.35, 0 0.34, 0 0.35 amps at its lowest setting. Let's take it back up to its highest. <laughs> I think I overdrove the, uh... all right, there we go. So we are putting out 5 volts at 1.28 amps. Take a look at what our ambient is here now. We're up to 80.4. No real heat that I can feel. I'm going to get a meter ready, and we're going to let this sit for a minute and get warm. Of course, you don't have to watch that. All right, it's been running for about 10 minutes or so. And it says it is 95.5 degrees. Yeah, it's warm to the touch. It is not hot. All right, let's take this down. One, two, three, four, five, and it's off. Okay, so on one, two. Well, let's go all the way up and let's get a meter. Let me shut it off for a second. All right, today's meter we're looking at is the new Zotec ZT300AB. There will be a review on this in the next couple days, but this is a very nice little meter with Bluetooth so that you can do data logging. How about that, right? One second, please. Okay, I've got the light as far off to the side as we can get so that there's very little, you know, of it messing with the camera, but also so you can still see what I'm doing. All right, let's see what kind of voltage we're getting out of full power. Four point three four volts. Now it's showing five volts there. All right, let's take it down to half power. One, two, three. And if it says the same, then we're, well, we'll know for a fact that it's PWM. Okay, well, it's not the same, so we don't know for a fact that it's PWM. Oh, my power bank went out. One second. We have more power banks. Uh, let's plug her in here. All right, power on. And where were we? We were three down. One, two, three. Okay, let's put it down at its lowest. And we're down at the lowest setting now. Let's see where we're at. 2.44. All right. Let's take it back up. Measure one more time. This is on a different power bank. So 3.95. All right. Well, let's see if we can pick up any frequency on the meter. I have it turned to the frequency setting. Nothing is plugged into the wall. I don't see anything. All right, let's take the power setting down. This is where it should start if it's going to PWM. And no, I don't see anything at all. That's still not a definitive answer. Let's put it on a scope. That'll give us the definitive answer. Bear with me here. Bear with me here on uh, showing you this. You can see the... Uh, the LED plate with the scope hooked up to a couple of probes there. Now, 
Let me get this up here so I can see what I'm doing. One second, please. All right. Now, that is a full power. Let's come in here, give you guys a better look. Okay, there's full power. As you can see, there's really no frequency at all. So let's start taking it down. And there it is. The PWM shows itself. Very nice. I had a feeling there was PWM in there, right? Didn't you? So I think we've seen about all we can see of the uh, UB size video LED lights. Check them again with the uh, laser thermometer there. And yeah, they don't get hot enough that you can't touch them. That's been running for almost a half an hour while I have been doing this video. So there's definitely nothing to worry about there. Would I recommend them? I I don't have a problem with them. They're not as powerful as I thought. At max, they were, they were putting out 6 watts, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a link to these down below if you're interested. You get two of them and the really nice uh, tripods for 35 bucks from Amazon. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.